What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 15th Angular 2 tutorial in which we'll be just adding some sort of styles to our application so that it looks a bit nice on the browsers. So, so far if you take a look, it kind of looks crappy and it's, it just looks like a bunch of h1 and p tags and ul tags which, you know, just every new learner do with HTML so obviously you don't want to take your site live with this sort of structure although how good your coding in JavaScript may be so let's just add some sort of CSS to it now first of all first things first let's get rid of this template and add a template URL of uh, app uh, and uh, let's just create templates folder index.html and there's a way to actually just get rid of all of this and just write like templates.html so if I create a folder right here which says um, templates and I create another file which is index.html and actually this would not work right now and the reason is that Angular by default would look inside the root directory if you don't, you know, it will always look inside the root directory no matter how you specify the path in the right in the component like in the template URL or in the style URL. So if you take a look in the browser, you can see that it just says that localhost templates index.html is not found. So I'm gonna leave it like app and probably the same directory templates. And like that again what I'm gonna do is let's just create another folder right here which just says um, CSS well we could actually create a simple folder like assets and then put JavaScript and CSS in both of them but anyways let's just name it style.css and inside here I would just write my wildcards which just apply to almost the whole page and which don't need to be edited again and again so I'm gonna link this style inside my main index so my main index file is index.html and right here I'm gonna say link rel style sheet href is app and probably this is CSS style.css all right and as you can see the styles are already applied and from Google fonts I'm gonna grab this open sans for the fonts and just place the link here now what you can do is go down to this line right here and inside body let's just paste this and as you can see it looks much better than before again now we need styles for our component so I'm gonna say style URL and here would be again an absolute path instead of relative so this would be app CSS uh, let's just name this as uh, my shop component dot CSS and <laughs> don't need a semicolon right there so my shop component dot CSS here we go and for this what I can do is actually all right this is 404 not found this is inside app then we have CSS style. Well, my shop C O M P O N E N T. My shop C O M O. There's a typo right there. C O M P O N E N T. Right? All right. Now, what we need to do is that once this style is loaded, let's just customize this application a little bit from 
the styles are as you know that these styles only apply to components so i don't need to do like h1 id and something like that so that it doesn't look messy at all so that's the heads up for angular 2's component style urls and yeah so that's pretty much it so let's just say text line center and why not just edit this as uh some uh, name to your shop uh, let's just say your shop is named as um why not crazy coders so this is the name of our, of our shop and we are selling movies well so anyways well that's how it looks right now and we can just do a bit of styling from here only so i'm just gonna do a bit of styling from the browser itself and would copy that again 10 pixel 20 pixel i guess we don't need that 20 pixel so just let's just make some space for a header and the border bottom two pixel solid and the background would be i guess not really black but you could actually have black background so color would be white and text shadow is zero zero five pixel white you know this is just a sort of a layout which would i'm just coding in five to ten minutes you can go ahead and take your time to code your own layout and uh, pretty much like all right now we have this one as h1 then p then you will this is sort of unorganized isn't it so let's just organize this a little bit as well so this would be probably where we are in the index so we have crazy coders as the heading then we could have we have the following movies available all right so let's just change this to h3 and h3 then we have let's just say div id my movies list and you would probably need to have one time or another these user IDs and classes because you just can't rely on elements every time. So we have this movie list, then you could probably just get rid of this you will at all and you could just go ahead with a div of class. movie item and a div here as well and we can just get rid of this recently added movie and again you could just actually create another separate file for this card but for now i'm just gonna keep it inside my index.html only and inside this card i have this in h3 then a ul and then div is closed <laughs> all right now what we can do is we can just probably just wrap this whole thing into a container actually container and a div here as well and inside here we can say container is width 960 pixels margin 0 auto and this looks like that right now so for this we can say like h3 is padding top 25 padding bottom 10 or let's just say this is margin bottom 10 then we have border bottom one pixel solid black only let's just say 
and then we have a bit of color customization right there just like that and again for these the movie item what I can do is I can just say this is width of 33% and this would be float left and again we would need to clear out cursor pointer we would need to clear out the floats so what I'm gonna do is create a class content display block and clear both so this is some sort of simple CSS I guess I don't need to dive much deep for this and <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is again just place my CSS uh, where I have to clear the floats right here so this would be class clear so let's just check this out if the floats are cleared yes they are so yeah all right now the next thing we should probably do is that get some Batman versus Superman image images and why not just um, Civil War Captain America as well so uh, what we have Deadpool right so we have Deadpool as well so let's just open the images for this one as well so for Batman versus Superman, we could probably go ahead with uh, <clears throat> let's see this would be uh, okay yeah this one would be good and then we have for Civil War as well I like this one but the dimensions are not very much useful for us and I am on the side of Tony Stark if you are wondering so we could just get uh, okay all right so let's just go with this one only so this one's for Civil War and for Deadpool it is let's just say this one so this is for Batman vs Superman I'm just gonna go ahead with the relative layout uh, URLs only I'm not gonna save them for anything or such like that so what I can do is right here I can probably say that this is movie item and then we have or if you don't like then you can just write data or let's just keep it in the class itself so we'll say movie item movie all right now let's just take a look in the browser and as you can see we have a bit of problem because there are some sort of spaces so uh, I don't know it would work or not let's try this out this is a simple JavaScript hack to remove spaces and looks like it probably worked yeah so it worked so you could actually just make use of some sort of JavaScript stuff inside this expression also so now we have the name of the movie as well concatenated with the class name so what I can go do is go ahead and inside style no inside not style I can say movie item or just simply Batman versus Superman as background URL is um, this one right there and similarly for the other three uh, what is their names Civil War and Deadpool so 
for civil war we have this one as the background and for Deadpool we have I guess I placed it in wrong positions so for civil war again we have this one as the background well it looks good but not really so let's just extend the height of these containers a little bit so what I'm gonna say is height is 300 pixels and where's Deadpool network console all right so they are so you sort of using some sort of hotlink protection never mind so for this one again I would just go ahead and write background size 100% Auto 100%. Wait a minute. Background size. So this would go for all the movie items. And where's the height one? 400 pixels. And background for Civil War, it is no repeat or oh, let's just do center center all right cool now for Deadpool Deadpool images let's go with this one so let's just see if it allows us to use Deadpool or not <coughs> this one is good as well so let's just go with this one because that loaded first so this is right there and inside our browser if you take a look it looks kind of cool the next thing what you can do is you can just wrap all of this movie inside span class movie name and span is closed right there and then what you can do is just position it relative and for dot movie name you can say that it is absolutely positioned and it is bottom zero with 100% height let's just leave height background is black and text align is center so let's just take a look how it looks so all right looks like we have some sort of problem Okay, so this should be left zero as well. Here we go. And for background black, I want color as white. This could be a bit transparent actually. Let's just change this to RGBA and transparency. Sweet and padding of 10 pixel, zero would do the job and the last thing we need to do about this one is that huh, so we can just reduce this <coughs> to or we can just apply a margin of 10 pixel directly and make use of in the style.css border sizing uh, what was that property name I guess box yeah so it was box sizing box sizing border box and uh, doesn't look like it worked does it so we have still a bit of problem right there so let's just 
make the margin to 2% and that would do the job I guess probably yeah so let's just get rid of this we'll take a look at that later on someday and this would be margin 2% and width of 29% so here we are with our Deadpool page ready or the movies page ready and we have just made a bit of customization to our home page so it looks a bit nice now you could actually do this for card as well but I'm just gonna leave it right now with this one as only so we'll be continuing with our web application from here only from this point and if you just you're lazy enough to not just code this yourself then don't worry I'll just leave a link in the description where you can find all of these files absolutely ready for you to start coding from the next tutorial onwards so guys that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching